In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the Alex problem called writing an acid dissociation constant e expression. This is just a fancy type of an equilibrium expression. Products over reactants raised to stoichiometric coefficients. So uh, first thing we have to do is write a balanced chemical equation because the equilibrium expression comes from the balanced equation. We want the balanced equation to be uh, the reaction between the acid that the problem is asking us about, phosphoric acid, and water. So H3PO4 and water. And this is an equilibrium expression. So we've got some equilibrium arrows here. And actually, you know what, I, I need to include, we need to include states on this because that's important when we're writing the equilibrium expression. So the acids in these equations, the acids are always going to be aqueous, all, all of them. They will all be aq, and then water, of course, is going to be a liquid. So since this is an acid, that means that it is an H plus donor. That's the definition of an acid. The acid is the molecule that loses H plus. So we're going to take the number of hydrogen atoms in this formula, and we're going to decrease it by one. So instead of three hydrogens, it only has two hydrogens and also we're going to take the charge on this molecule right now this is neutral and we're going to decrease the charge by a plus one so it's going to go down to a, a minus one um, and that because it's losing the hydrogen and it's also losing a positive charge so we're making h2po4 and this is also aqueous the H plus that is being lost by the acid is being picked up by the water molecule. The water molecule is the base, so that means the water molecule is gaining the H uh, plus ion. So instead of two hydrogens, now it has three hydrogens. And instead of being neutral, it now has a positive charge. This is aqueous as well. So there's a few things in these equations that you're going to have every single time. No matter what acid it's asking you about, you're always going to be aqueous, liquid, aqueous, and aqueous. Both of your products are always going to be aqueous. Your acid is always going to be aqueous. Your water will always be liquid. Uh, the acid is always going to be losing the hydrogen, which means that you'll always be making H3O plus on the other side of the reaction every single time. Really, the only thing you have to figure out is the formula for this guy right here. So once you get all of that figured out, then we can write our equilibrium expression from that. Equilibrium expressions are the concentrations of our products. H2PO4 minus. Don't forget you have to include those charges because Alex will mark it wrong if you leave your charges out, but you do leave out the AQ parts and the L and that kind of thing. Also, you have to put these into square brackets. That's the rule for writing an equilibrium expression. It must be in square brackets. Uh, and then we'll put that over the reactant H3PO4. Again, we leave out the H2O because we always leave pure liquids out. The one last thing I want to say is that for your acid, no matter matter how many hydrogen atoms are in the formula, when you write this equation, you're only going to be losing one of those hydrogen atoms. So like as you saw here, even though I had three hydrogen atoms to start with, I only took one of those hydrogen atoms away from, uh, from the molecule. And that is always going to be the case. So here is the answer to this problem.